Bom dia, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, for the newcomers, my name is Dirita Yutu, and I want to welcome you to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, you might recognize me from four years ago when my family and I really sold everything we own. We went all into Bitcoin and we started traveling the world. Now, four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos and Portugal. And guys, sorry, I didn't show up yesterday, but I did make a very short video that I shared with the proud family token members in the Discord and in the family Telegram group. But today, I am back. I'll be back, like Arnold would say, and I'm going to create a kick-ass video. I have some really cool Bitcoin charts that will show you guys what Bitcoin's next move will be because, be honest, because the last couple of weeks, I've been telling you guys, Bitcoin is going to go up. It's going to break 12k. And what did we see this morning? I woke up with this beautiful green candle. Bitcoin broke 12k. I'm going to share with you today what Bitcoin is going to do next. And of course, I'm always keeping it real because we have some bears in the industry. We're going to talk about Grayscale. We are going to talk about Bitcoin ATMs. We are going to talk about Robin Hood. And of course, talking about the sand dollar. The what? Yes, the sand dollar. Keep watching the video till the end and you will know what the sand dollar is. Enjoy today's video, guys. <laughs> statistics oh my god dutchy as i can see in the youtube statistics that you only watch about six minutes of all the videos that i post so even if the video is 15 minutes you watch six minutes and if the video is like 25 minutes you're still watching only six minutes so why would i put in the effort to create 20 to 30 minute videos if you only watch six minutes so maybe i need to make the videos a little bit shorter so today a test if i can keep the video below 15 minutes huge waves ahead also in bitcoin but also there at the sea it's easy walking with the flip-flops on the beach because the sand is still soaking wet from yesterday it rained all day all night long no all day long it was all day long it was rainy it was a terrible day terrible day i don't like rain i like sun but of course, walking towards the sea, if you live in an area with big waves, huge waves, then tell me how high are your waves. Because I'm in Portugal and there is one area in Portugal, it's called Nazare, and they have the highest wave ever. I think it was 38 meters. So yes, and it will be in October, November that these high waves will be there. Of course, going to visit that place because I want to say 30 meter high waves. I'm going to serve them. No, I'm not going to serve them because I don't know how to serve. Stop rambling, Didi, because the video will be too long again. When it comes to the family, guys, not many news. Hans left our family yesterday, so he's going home to the Netherlands. He didn't want to go to the Netherlands, but no, he has a family over there as well. And so that's the reason why he went home. Um, family tokens, yes, in this video, again, a QR code. I think I will add 10 tokens to the QR code, but then I will give like 20 people access to 10 tokens so more of you will receive bitcoin family tokens and more of you will have access to our telegram group and the discord group where you need to own some family tokens the car as you saw had new two new logos on it one logo is blockchain valley one logo is house of dao both projects that are focusing on creating digital nomad co-working co-living places that want to accelerate the use of blockchain and crypto and therefore want to accelerate the change of this world that's why they want to support me because they know i have completely the same values as these guys have as well and i have some more really cool news coming up but i'm signing the contracts before i can announce that one i will keep you posted on this one as well that was the family part that was quick now jump to the charts city because we want to know what is going to happen to bitcoin bitcoin is at the moment around 12,250 us dollar guys yes maybe when you're watching this video it's already around 12,200 or 12,100 us dollar because always be aware that i make videos in a certain moment that doesn't mean 
that the prize I'm talking about is about that moment, but probably about a moment, two hours before that, when I recorded the video. Of course, it's logical, but people seem to forget this when they watch the videos. Big question now, guys, is if we can hold the 12,200 region of support. So we broke 12K. Are we going to see 12.5K now, or are we going to drop back to 11.5K? This is all the game of supply and demand. There's a huge demand at the moment. The demand is growing tremendously, and the supply is staying the same you would say that the Bitcoin price can only go up. If you zoom out big, like the last 11 years, you can see that Bitcoin has only been going up. Yes, with ups and downs, but always been going up. And one thing that is very important to watch out for is that if the Bitcoin dominance is growing, like you can see on this chart, BAM! On this chart, you can see the Bitcoin dominance. On this Bitcoin dominance chart, guys, you can see this cloud and you can see this midline of the cloud. Every time when Bitcoin dominance breaks this midline of the cloud, we see a 30% run in the Bitcoin dominance. If you look to the left on the chart and you look to 2018, around July, you can see that when Bitcoin dominance broke this midline, we went up 30% in the Bitcoin dominance. In 2019, we did exactly the same. When we broke up this midline, the Bitcoin dominance went up with like 32%. So on average, when we break this line, the Bitcoin dominance is going up with 38%. What does this mean, Didi? Because we don't even know what the Bitcoin dominance is. This means that people are taking profit in their altcoins and, and going into Bitcoin again. More people want to own Bitcoin, less people want to own altcoin. So what is going to happen to these altcoins when less and less and less people want to own these altcoins? Exactly. Then the price of most of these altcoins will drop. So this Bitcoin dominance is showing us that more and more people are going to trust on Bitcoin now because they believe Bitcoin is going to go in this huge bull run and less people are trusting altcoins. So that's just an advice from somebody that has lost a lot in the last couple of years and has won some as well in the last couple of years. So I learned the trade by doing trades. The bears have a complete different outlook on the charts than we as the bulls have. Let's take a bear chart. Bam! This one. So if you look on this chart, you can see that the bears are expecting us to go to between 12 and 14k. This is the area the bears expect the Bitcoin price to drop tremendously. So they expect that we will go above 12k, maybe 13k, and maybe if we are lucky 14k, but then make a huge drop back to 8k. 8k. That's like a very big drop. But still, if you play the game and if you keep watching my videos, you will see a warning like, hey guys, maybe we should sell Bitcoin now because the dominance is dropping, because the volume is dropping, because all these indicators are telling us that we can go down. And at that point, you exchange your Bitcoins into US dollar Tether, into PEX or into DAI or any other stable coin you trust. And then you wait for the drop. And then when Bitcoin drops to 10K, you start to buy back a little bit. And when it drops to 9K, you buy back a little bit more, and when it drops to 8K, buy you back a shitload of Bitcoins. And then again, you just join this beautiful run up to 10K, 12K, 14K, 60K, 20K, 50K, and 100K in the next couple of months, years. So that is the game you play. That is the game how you multiply your Bitcoin hollow position. And as you can also see, the reason why the bears are expecting this is that you see this huge trend line coming up with a low, a higher low, another higher low, and they think we are going to create another higher low now around 8,000. So that's kind of logic because these trend lines often are the support area that Bitcoin will drop to. So yes, let's see. We could go to 14K, we could drop to 8K. It's one hell of a roller coaster ride. It's all fun, it's just laughing. And if you just want to not freak out, but zoom out, so you don't stress that much about the charts, then just buy Bitcoin and just hodl them for the next 12 to 18 months. And then in the new autumn high, yes, then you sell. So you don't need to freak out every time that I make these videos about, oh, we can go to 12K, or we can go to 10K, because nobody knows exactly what Bitcoin will do. The only thing we definitely know, in my opinion, is that if you zoom out, Bitcoin has been going up for 11 years and will be going up for another couple of years because more and more investors 
institutional investors, huge companies are stepping into this industry and they are not doing it to make shitload of losses. They are doing it to make profit. So they will make sure that the Bitcoin price will not go to zero. What do I think? If you care, I don't know if you care, maybe you care what I think. If it, I think that if you're able to break 12,000, 200, 300, 500 region, then we will, can take it all the way up to 40K. I really believe that we can take it up to 40K. And yes, I also agree that we will see a very healthy pullback then. But I think this pullback will not go below the 10K. I think the pullback will first go to 11,200 region. And that region will be a huge kind of support. And then if we break that one, we can even fall to 10,500 and maybe 10,200. But I don't think Bitcoin is going to go below 10K very soon. I do think we can see a pullback and then again a run up to 20K this year. Because I hope we have a beautiful Christmas with a 20K Bitcoin price. You can see on this chart, bam, on this chart you can see the 200 day moving average is around I think 10,300 US dollar and you can see the 50 day moving average is around 11,200 US dollar so both of these average I think are huge regions of support and I think this 200 day moving average if you look back in history has been the biggest support line uh, when it comes to the bull run so every time when we are in a bull run you can see that we touch this line multiple of times but every time we bounce off this 200 day moving average and that would be around 10,000 US dollar per Bitcoin but let's see maybe I am completely wrong but the charts never lie to me and the history doesn't mean that it's going to happen in the future again but if you want to minimize your risk of losing and maximize the risk of making profits you depend on the history of these charts let's take it to the next part in this video the blockchain slash news part BAM I'm going to walk through it very quickly because I don't want to make a too long video. Grayscale is now managing $6.5 billion worth of crypto. That's shit load of money, 6.5 billion US dollar. They are one of the biggest crypto funds around of course and now managing 6.5 billion US dollar. People ask me every time, where can I find these Bitcoin ATMs? There are two really cool apps that you can download on your iPhone or on your Android and you can find all the Bitcoin ATMs. One of them is Coin ATM Radar and the other one is called Bitmap. So Coin ATM Radar is the one that I'm using. Why would you use a Bitcoin ATM DD? Because there are a shitload of banks that don't support buying Bitcoins. They are even blocking Bitcoin buy orders. So you can't buy Bitcoin always with your bank account. Most of banks are waking up and they allow you to buy Bitcoins on uh, KYC verified platforms. But if you're not the lucky guy that has a bank account or you are a very lucky guy that has a shitload of black money and needs to buy bitcoins, <laughs> then I think the Bitcoin ATM would be a better option. Then you can use the Coin ATM Raider and you will find all the ATMs around you guys. And not only Bitcoin ATMs guys, because you can buy bitcoins, for example, in Spain, France, Italy, in grocery stores like the Carrefour, in FNAC, in, in pharmacies, in many other places and you will all find these places on Coin ATM. Really cool. So use these facilities because that's the way to do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way to do it. No. I don't know where the song goes anymore. Too old. I'm getting too old. And then one more really cool thing, Robin Hood. Yes, you know Robin Hood, the Prince of Thieves, the Robin Hood hacking group. They are hacking for a good cause because all the Bitcoins they hack, they give to charity. The strange thing is that some charities are giving back the Bitcoins because they don't want to accept stolen goods. I don't know guys, you know, hmm, what would you say? Let's say you are a state charity, would you accept a gift where a Robin Hood hacking group steals Bitcoins from criminals or huge companies that have been suppressing us or from very centralized banks or whatever. So we have a hacking group stealing Bitcoins and then giving these Bitcoins to charity. I don't know what I would do, but I'm very, very much looking forward to hear what you guys would do. Would you accept stolen Bitcoins from the hacking group Robinhood? Let me know in the comments. It will be a very cool, creative, healthy discussion, I think, in this group. And then the last part of the video, guys, is about the sand dollar. The sand dollar, yes. The Bahamas announced 
that they are going to launch their own central bank's digital currency, a CBDC. Yes, the Bahamas is launching their own CBDC, and the CBDC of the Bahamas is going to be, call, is going to be called the sand dollar. Not like sand like here, I think, but just like a digital sand dollar. You can only use it to pay for things in the Bahamas, but this shows that all these central banks all over the world are looking into crypto hugely. Research has shown us that 80% of the central banks, 80% of the central banks are looking into crypto. So believe me guys, we are going to see a new world that is going to be built on central bank digital cryptos of which people will think it's the same like Bitcoin. Of course it isn't. It's the most centralized form of currency possible just like we already have now, just like the euro, the dollar, but then a digital form. So it's a centralized form of money, just like the form they have now. The Bahamas, Germany, Europe, China, USA, they're all building central banks, digital cryptos. So I think that people need to be educated on the difference between a central bank's digital crypto or a real crypto like Bitcoin. So please be aware, these central banks, digital cryptos are not decentralized. They are centralized. They can freeze them, they can take them, they can confiscate them, they can do whatever they fucking want with them if you hold all those very centralized CDBCs. Be aware, there's a huge difference. But if you want to know more about this, guys, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your communities and friends, and definitely subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because I want to keep educating you about these things but I need more thumbs ups, I need more views, I need more shares and definitely more comments below my videos because else guys I'm going to quit it because I'm spending a lot of time creating this content for you guys and if I don't reach 20k subscribers soon why the fuck would I do these videos again? That was not serious. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I just, uh, it would be so cool if I could have made a snapshot of your faces now when I said this. No, I have a lot of love and passion in making these videos, guys. So I will keep making these videos. But of course, I want to see this channel grow. So if you like today's video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. And if you're up to it, share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. And always remember, to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.